Hello, welcome to Comic Book News. I'm Dan Shaheen. Today we're going to talk about The Incredible Hulk Last Call. It's a comic, it's a one shot. It came out this week. It's by the creative team of Peter David and Dale Keown, uh, best known for their work on The Incredible Hulk in uh, the mid to late 90s. They, uh, this is sort of a long awaited thing. This smacks of Marvel saying, look, uh, our old school fans uh, are kind of abandoning us. We've shifted directions with the Hulk and other things in different ways. And uh, let's try and get back to the glory days, right? So let's call up Peter David, classic Marvel writer, uh, famous for X Factor and Incredible Hulk and uh, many others, but those especially. And let's bring superstar Dale Keown back, right? Um, so... But something about this comic just isn't right. It's just, I'm not sure what it is, but something about it is making me angry. So let's go uh, take a look at this comic and let's uh, switch to the comics cam and uh, take a look on the inside, shall we? So the cover looks nice, nice. Um, Image by Keown, co colors by Peter Steigerwald. Uh, very interesting that Steigerwald got cover credit. Doesn't look like his normal sort of like um, computer, computery, glitzy stuff. This is a really nice uh, color treatment. I like the cover. Um, we go on the inside and we can see uh, written by Peter David, penciled by Dale Keown. And the first sort of sign of something weird is going on is... Uh, the inkers, there's four inkers. Um, luckily, one of them is Mark Farmer, uh, who's a fantastic inker. Um, but four inkers, this starts smelling to me like like a, a, a story that was uh, uh, kind of like left over, like, a, like an uh, inventory story. Uh, and uh, that they sort of threw it together as this one shot. Uh, and got a bunch of inkers in. Let's take a look on the inside and see if that stacks up with the truth. So, the uh, first thing that stood out with these two pages, right? The inking style seems different, and I'm willing to bet that um, these were inked by two different people. If you look at this sort of like loose cross hatching um, versus kind of a more uh, uh, rendered illustrations on the left I think these are done by different inkers of, of varying quality of skill right I think the second one looks frankly it looks a little bit um, amateurish to me for some reason moving on um, basically this story uh, is supposed to sort of take place in in the past and 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 or or, or, or it's like a flashback of uh, 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 Bruce Banner remembering Betty Brant and sort of their relationship and talking um, with an old friend and the idea being that Hulk has tried to kill himself many times here he's trying to commit suicide throwing himself off a cliff but he turns into the Hulk so it doesn't work so what he's decided is to what he said here is that he's he needs a hitman right he hired a hitman who is going to unless he gets a signal a high sign from Bruce Banner he's going to uh just find Bruce on the street and sort of assassinate him, uh, ideally, and will kill him before he has a chance to turn into the Hulk. This doesn't really jibe with what we know and have seen of the Hulk in the past as far as like Bruce Banner getting shot. Pretty much immortal, so right away, this story just seems a little bit off to me. The artwork's a little off, the story's a little off. Um, I think Keown is great. I really loved and enjoyed his work on The Incredible Hulk in the 90s. I read probably every issue. Um, this does not really look like him. If I had to guess, if I were to just look at this art, I would not have guessed Dale Keown. That could be because of the inking, or maybe he's lost a step. I don't really know. Um, so the comic itself is fairly boring. A lot of sort of like flashbacks to Bruce and Betty. Um, we do get to see a little bit of this is stuff that uh, Peter David kind of pioneered, which was that 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 Bruce Banner really was um, a, a, a multiple personality um, disorder, and 
and the Hulk is just sort of his inner jerk, especially the Gray Hulk, right? And is always sort of like uh, talking down to him and, and and belittling him, and you know, that's why Banner hates the Hulk for his weakness, and Banner hates uh, or Hulk hates Banner for his weakness, and Banner hates the Hulk for uh, his his uh, violence and and craziness, right? But it's really just Bruce hit, hating himself. So we get flashbacks to Bruce's wedding and uh, and and some nice domestic scenes um, that are more or less kind of boring. Um, we get Bruce uh, and and and, uh, and and Veronica sort of talking about um, how Bruce really uh, didn't mean to turn into the Hulk, right? That it was an accident. When he was trying to save people, his intentions were good, so that means he's a good person. Okay. Anyway, we get flashbacks to when Modoc created a turned Betty Brant into the Harpy, which apparently ultimately led to her undoing. But um, this is probably my favorite illustration in the whole book. Um, it's nice, uh, well drawn, well inked. I would bet this is maybe Mark Farmer on this page because it looks so good. Um, as we go on these next few pages, the, the action is decent, um, kind of like uh, dynamic page layout, at least here, slightly dynamic, but none of this stuff looks great. None of it looks like I remember um, Dale Keown looking on the Hulk. And, and, you know, granted, that was a long time ago. That was 20 years ago. So um, well, we don't know what's happened in the meantime, but um, I, I haven't seen much work from Keown outside of this in a really long time. And if we look at it, just the inking especially gives this just a not super top tier look. Uh, and then here we see the big bad villain of the piece ends up being Mr. Hyde, uh, who uh, attacks Veronica and uh, gets into a fight with the Hulk. And... Uh, you know he's certainly looking a lot bigger than we remember him seeing. He's pretty much Hulk sized, but this one he's such a he's such a jerk that he's gonna insult the Hulk about his dead wife. Now, okay, Mister Hyde, not is supposed to be like a scientist or you know who created this formula, and so he should be a little bit smarter than that. Like if you're gonna fight the Hulk, okay, beat him up if you think you can, but you don't try to get him angry doesn't really make a ton of sense to me um but anyway we get this nice shot of the hulk breaking mr hyde's uh, arm and basically just telling him to shut up and shut up and smash and smash very hulk like uh and this really brutalized picture of of uh, a contrite mr hyde apologizing and uh and then finally we get the final um uh, payoff where the Hulk reveals uh, decides that life really is worth living and maybe he's not going to be killed and we reveal the identity of the assassin but uh, you know I don't think I want to uh, give that away that's the one kind of fun surprise in this so um, uh, maybe you want to check it out maybe you want to uh, give this book a try if you're nostalgic for the Incredible Hulk you might enjoy it, but if you really remember the old stuff, then mm, you might not enjoy it as much. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to take a look just to compare. So here's Keown's current artwork. I, I don't think it's bad by any stretch of the imagination. I think many artists have been influenced by him, and he's definitely in his heyday was a, one of the greats. But let's just look at this tr ad for some of his covers on the collections of some of his older stuff. And if you're not seeing a major difference in the way this looks, then I don't think you're looking hard enough. It, again, it very well could be the inkers. I feel like the inking was sub uh, par on this one shot. Um, so I, I definitely don't want to cast aspersions on Dale Keown and, or, or any of the inkers. Um, but I think that uh, as a one shot, this falls a little bit short. The story itself was uh, not that compelling. The fight scene and the action, just less than okay, well, less than good. 
And uh, the inking itself really turned it down. I th feel like if there had been a single inker and it had been a consistently good inker, it would have been much better. But what are you going to do? If you're an Ultra Hulk fan, like I know there are many out there, you'll probably read this and maybe you'll enjoy it. But I doubt it's going to go on your list of super memorable Hulk uh, books from Peter David and Dale Keown, right? Um, so anyway, pick it up if you enjoy it, uh, the Hulk. Otherwise, you might give it a pass. Hey, and, you know, speaking of uh, things that you might enjoy, take a look at some of these other videos. If you like this one, you might like them about comic books and computers and all kinds of other great stuff. So please like, comment, and subscribe on this video and uh, click that little bell icon if you want notifications of my future videos. And hey, thanks for watching.